As you can see, there are also jokes about lead generation. And in this video, I want to talk to you about humor as a communication strategy. So to begin with, why do we laugh? The earliest manifestations of laughter do not occur through humor in the sense of jokes, but through something a bit more primitive, tickling. And in the name of science, we're going to tickle him. And tickling is explained by evolutionary psychologists as an adaptation useful for our social development, namely for mock fighting and other grooming related behavior. Playing simulated fights is typical among infants of most mammal species. And in this context, tickling works as a signal that might have evolved to communicate something like, all right, all right, we are not really hurting each other, right? We are just mock fighting. The connection with mock fighting would explain many of the seeming mysteries of laughter. Why we don't have tickles everywhere, but precisely in the most vulnerable parts of our bodies. Why you cannot tickle yourself. It is a social sign. You can try it. And also why laughter makes us elicit endorphins, which give us pleasure, courage, trust, and reduce our ability to feel pain. Now, what about humor? Today, many psychologists like Robin Dunbar understand humor as an expression of that mock fighting instinct, but manifest it more abstractly through other media, namely through language. If you think about it, every joke contains an attack to someone. But once we interpret it as a mock attack, we react just as if we were being tickled in our minds. We laugh and we segregate endorphins. The key to keep your joke funny is therefore that the readers don't feel really attacked, otherwise it's an insult, but just mockingly attacked. And there are two basic ways of accomplishing this effect. First, veil your attack. Please do not leak the page. They are suggesting you are gluttonous enough to do it. But the attack is not literal, it is indirect, you are decoding it in your head. And it's not even personally addressed to you, so it couldn't offend anyone, it's just funny. Second, an even safer option is to attack someone else beyond the listener. This ad belongs to Bank Forum. By simply placing a paper clip out of order and writing chaos on the site, they are mockingly attacking themselves, stressing how obsessive they are. But this strategy places the reader on their side. The biggest chaos you will experience with Back Forum is a paperclip out of order once in a while. Humor is one of the strongest ways of connecting people. No wonder more than half of viral YouTube videos are precisely of humorous entertainment. Humor helps viralize content, and even laughter is contagious in itself, another evidence of its social nature. That's why companies choose humor ads, especially for big social events. So, here's the hack. Tickles can bond people together more than handshakes do. Thank you for watching. If you want more advice on how to design your communication strategies, the Legiony team is happy to help you. Leave us a comment or contact us through legiony.com and feel free to share this video with others that could find it useful. We'll help you connect. Science is magic that works.